Alright, so I'm going to try to make something like that. Like one of these. Except for out of plastic. So, so here's one that's not painted that I just glued together real quick. That's going to be my model to make my mold from. So, we'll see what happens. Well, as Dan predicted, my first idea of using clay to mold around the ship to help make the mold fail. Everything tore off the ship. I've uh, glued it back together, but it doesn't look as good as it did. Anyway, uh, plan B. Okay, so I mixed those two ingredients in those two bowls using those gloves. Poured it into that bowl. Of course, it didn't have that uh, keychain in it there. I made my silicone, which I've now poured into box with my ship to make half my mold. Um, I have a feeling this isn't going to work too good, but uh, we'll see. It's got to cure for six hours before that half of the mold is done. So we'll be back. Okay, as you can see here, I've mixed up another batch of uh, rubber that I'm going to pour in my cured mold here so we'll see what happens it'll take six hours so it'll be morning before we know if my two-piece mold works first I'm going to spray my mold release with this so I don't Stuff doesn't stick. <clears throat> now I'm going to pour my wait as if I'm supposed to wait some amount of time. Let me see if I'm supposed to wait some amount of time here. Yeah, it says I gotta wait five minutes, so I'll be back. Alright, so there's the stuff poured in the final mold. Didn't quite cover that wood. So I don't know about that. I'll have to see what happens. Anyway. My workbench. And we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Alright, now here's my mold after I've taken it out of the box, but before I've tried to split it in half. Can I touch it? And this is my mold. Um, well, as you can see, my mold did not separate, so it's all tore up. Um, this is how it would have. You'd have poured the plastic up in there. And anyway, didn't uh, for some reason it all stuck together. The the, <laughs> the release agent did not work, or I used it wrong. So back to the drawing board, but uh, oh, no. that was first try. Well, moved on to my other project, trying to make a futuristic looking cube. Uh, basically came out like a dangerous, cut you easily piece of crap. Um, looks like crap. So I didn't do too well at that either, but it does work. Um, and show you. Turn off the light. Uh, turn off 
this line and push the button and voila. Try that again. Push the button and I also bought the wrong button. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Doesn't seem to stay on very long. But... It seem to work when I turn it one certain way. I think I gotta shorten my mechanism. Anyway, there it is. So it's not a complete failure. On to my next project. It's gonna be a uh, magic wand similar to those seen on Harry Potter. So right now it's just a rolled up piece of paper glued together. A little hot glue on the ends to seal it off. We'll see what the finished product looks like. Alright, so now we've added a little uh, decoration to the uh, wand. It's not complete yet, but it's coming along. Alright, for the next step, you can see we've uh, added some brown paint to the magic wand. Now we'll go on to the final few steps. So, and here we have the finished product in the Harry Potter wand. To cast all your magical spells. A spirit is something. 